This time, we'll draw a sake cup. Most of the time, we use small cups like these to drink sake. Actually, I love sake. When I drink out of this sake cup, it tastes especially delicious. So I just can't part with it. There's quite a few patterns on the outside of the cup, but we've left some of them out this time. Omission is also an important aspect of etagami. Soak the ink brush with ink and draw the shape. To make the drawing more interesting, let's draw it at an angle. First, draw the lip of the cup. This will determine the size of the cup. Next, draw the rest of the cup shape from top to bottom. Then we'll draw the pattern. Use the thin brush to color the flower without mudding. The center of the flower is bright yellow, and the petals are purple. Wash the brush well when changing the colors. The leaves will be a mix of yellow-green and a bit of dark green. We'll apply thick verdigris on top. For the pattern on the lower part of the cup, use the thin brush. Paint the cup's pattern ultramarine with the coloring brush. Using the thin brush, mix sienna with deep blue and paint the rim in detail. In order to make the cup look round, move the brush sideways and paint the inside of the cup parallel to the rim. Dip the gradient brush in water and use the deep blue to color the whole cup. We're all done! Don't you want to make a toast with someone now that you have delicious sake in a beautiful cup? With that feeling, we've written the message, let's toast on this etagami. By using refreshingly cool colors, we've completed a cool etagami. Please try to draw this kind of cool gradation on your own. If you master how to draw these kinds of shadows, it will be useful for making your etagami look 3D. See you soon!